Wow, well at least if we're talking about Thanksgiving coming up, yeah. weather's cooperating for that. Okay, so we can't put weather on that list <laughs> because it's nice and quiet. We're gonna be clearing out throughout tomorrow and Thanksgiving is looking quite nice and dry. That's the key, so if you're going to be local, just driving around or flying out of town, we are not the weather problem here because we will have clearing skies starting tomorrow afternoon into Thanksgiving morning and then Thanksgiving afternoon and evening a cold front will come through. That opens the door for the 30s this weekend. So when our next system arrives Saturday night to Sunday, lows will be in the 20s. So I do expect light snow showers to head our way this weekend. In the meantime, we get two days here in the 40s, 47 for Thanksgiving Day. Obviously, the cold front comes through here because on Friday, Black Friday for all the shoppers, temperatures will be in the 30s and we will have a north wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Well, right now in Chicago, skies are clear for the moment. West winds are light. 37 degrees is our current temperature. Our rainmaker now is moving east of Detroit and on the backside of it, that's what we're picking up, that westerly wind flow. But this next line of cloud cover, that's what's going to meet us in the morning, but it is dry. There's no rain or snow tacked on to it. So that's for the morning and for the afternoon, this ridge of high pressure parks overhead and that's why we allow for the clearing. So the satellite review in motion shows the movement of the cloud cover sliding to the south and to the east. So it will move our way for the morning rush and be around. But we're dry this more in the morning. So we will see temperatures holding in the middle 40s throughout much of the day. Lunchtime, we break out sunshine, full sun right before the sun goes down. So here's how we begin in the morning, 32 degrees in Aurora for your overnight low, 37 in the loop, 36 in Gary. Skies start to clear out for us. And Wednesday afternoon, we'll see middle 40s. That's common from Waukegan all the way down to Joliet, 42 in Kankakee. So for travelers, here's the big picture at noon tomorrow. Eastern seaboard is wet. I think that would be the problem spot. That system steps offshore. We start watching this next snowmaker. It'll move into the Rockies on Friday. We're keeping an eye on it here because I think it will increase our cloud cover Saturday. Now, Saturday overnight into Sunday, this system will move in, giving us that light snow shower chance because the low temperatures will be in the 20s. So for Thanksgiving Day, though, I want to remind anybody running a turkey trot that we are going to have winds under 10 miles per hour, bright skies, nice and dry, and probably a 34 degree start, so not bad. And then in the afternoon, Thanksgiving Day, high clouds come with the cold front takes us to the 30s this weekend and then Saturday night to Sunday. We're left with those morning snow showers on Sunday, but it's only 30%. There's not a lot of moisture for the system to work with. It's still several days away, but we have our eye on it. Mm. All right. So do we. We, we all heard went. the snow. We all went. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What?